Welcome back. So uh, I'm going to uh, the house I've been to before. I did her uh, refrigerator. I was uh, the defrost uh, board or whatever you call that thing was bad. It's her washing machine. Um, she said if she puts it on, uh, let's see, if she puts it on to wash on cold water, the water doesn't fill the tub. If she puts it on the hot or warm, it fills the tub. So I don't know if it's uh, you know the cold water line is plugged or something, or the or the valve is no good. We're gonna go find out. But that's that's her complaint. It's an Admiral, and it loads from the top. I did some quick uh, research on uh, YouTube. So let's go see if we can fix it. Okay, so it's uh, here's the washing machine. I um, I did a job here. I uh, fixed her uh, refrigerator. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we're just going to be doing video of the repair work. Um, okay, so this uh, the way you take this off. There's uh, let's see. There's a screw here and here and here. I'm gonna take those three screws out and then I'm gonna be able to uh, lift this. Um, I wanna be able to see the water going into the tub. It's got, a, it's got a switch here that won't allow you to open the lid. It, it won't work with the lid open. So um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Let me take those three screws out. Okay, so I got those screws out. Now this should pop forward and then you got to go back and lift. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look in here. I'm going to look in here and I'm going to tell this I got it on the medium cycle. Uh, I'm going to put it on cold and I'm going to hit start. And I'm going to look in here. Okay. I don't, you probably can't see, but the water is uh, is barely trickling in. Um, I don't think that's normal. Let's see what happens here. Now it completely stopped. Is that because of me? No. Okay, now I'm gonna. I'm I'm gonna turn it to a a cold warm setting. That's warm and cold. I got nothing. There it goes. What's it doing? How about hot? There it goes. Okay, there's that's filling up. Go to cold. Okay. Now it's trickling in. See that? Like water's barely coming in. Now I'm gonna go to warm. Okay, then it comes pouring in. I got a feeling. Now I'll go to hot. Yeah, see, I, I think that's the hot side. As soon as I eliminate the hot side, the, see how the water is just barely coming in? So, I think when you put it on either warm, cold, or hot, cold, what you're really getting is warm and hot. You're not getting the cold. The cold is barely coming in. When I eliminate the warm side, it barely trickles in. So, I'm gonna focus on the cold input. Uh, let's see, cancel. I'm gonna hold this down and it's gonna stop. Okay. Okay, so I turn this off, I loosen this. I'm gonna take this hose and put it in the bucket. And, uh, Put it down in the bucket, and then I'm going to turn this on. Okay, see, 
I got water coming in. So the hose is good. So now I got to work from here. There's a valve. Um, and that looks kind of dirty. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the red, the hot. I'm gonna take this off. Uh oh. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but you see how clean? That one's really clean. That one's got gunk in it. So I am going to pull this assembly. I, I'm, I gotta take this off to see if it's separate or if this is all one, but I'm definitely gonna clean that. That's got all kinds of junk in it. Okay, so. I really don't want to buy an entire valve assembly. All I got to do is clean this. I know that's causing the problem. So I just got to figure out how to get this screen out of here. If I can get this screen out of here, I'll just clean it and put it back in. I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm having trouble getting it out. It doesn't want to come. Um, and there's no way to get it out from the other side. See this? I have a feeling they're pressed in. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to get some, a, a little squirt bottle, put the bucket under. I'm going to, I'm going to rinse this out real good. I'm going to try it. And if, it, if that didn't fix it, I'll order one of these. Okay, so I'm, I, put, uh, I put hot water on there. Where's my flashlight? Yeah, I, I think that's going to work. Well, we're going to find out. But I, I shot hot water on there, and now I'm just kind of using a Q-tip to try to grab anything that's... Uh, still in there and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put it together and try it if it doesn't work um, there's a part number right there on there I'm gonna order that part the whole assembly I hate to do that because I'm sure this is the problem it's just got this uh, blockage here okay let's put it together and see if I fixed it okay so I put the Put the hoses back on, turned on the water, making sure I didn't create any leaky leak yeah. issues. Uh, looks okay, plugged it back in. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to, I got it on the cold setting. Okay, and I'm going to get in here. And I'm going to hit that. Oh, that's a lot better. I don't know if you can see in there. I'm not sure why it does that, but I, I think that's normal. It, it starts to fill, it stops. In fact, it, I think it spins the, the drum for a second. Oh, uh, that's what it was doing before. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it spins the drum. Not sure why. Uh-oh. I think I have to order a valve. Let's give it a minute. And again. Yeah, it's, actually, I think I made it worse. I don't know how I could have made it worse. But there's no water. Oh, there it is. I, I don't really understand the cycle. <laughs> I I don't know why it does that. It, 
it puts a little in and then it stops and then it does those other things. I just know that right now when it's supposed to be filling, that's uh, that's as good as the uh, as it was before with the hot. So I think I fixed it. I got it on cold only, so the hot's not even, the hot water line is not even involved in this. This is all cold water. See, if I go like this to warm cold, I'm gonna go back here. It, it's not as, it's not coming in as hard, but I think that's because the other one, the warm cold, it's taking water from both hoses at the same time and mixing it, which would be more, you know, more water pressure. But I got to tell you, that looks like that, that, I think I fixed it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to tell her what I did and just tell her if it happens again, call me. I wrote the part number down for that, uh, uh, that assembly. I'll just order an assembly and replace the whole thing, but I think that's working. Okay, no leaks. I did, uh, <laughs> I had a lot more water get on the floor than I thought I did, so I had to clean this up. <laughs> um, it's doing a cycle. It, it seems to be working, so. I'm going to stay until it completes the entire cycle, make sure it rinses, uh, rinses the water out, make sure it spins right, and uh, then I'm going to head out. Okay, that's the end of this one. Um, so I tried to get that little screen thing out, that filter thing out. I couldn't get it out. I'm pretty sure it comes out, but... I didn't want to destroy it so I just cleaned it the best I could and it worked but um, you know if it clogs right back up I what I told her was if it happens again to call me and I'll replace the entire assembly but I'm not gonna do that if it happens again I'm gonna try to get that screen out and if I destroy it then I'll replace the entire assembly but if I can get it out I'll just clean it really good um, so she said that she does certain loads on cold water only and you know that's when she'll know because if if it's if it's cold and hot then you can't really tell that the cold's not working because the hot fills up the tub so it's got to be cold water only for for it to show up but anyway i told her if it happens again call me and uh and I'll replace it and we'll see what happens. I mean, I got it out pretty good. I used hot water, just kind of squirted it on there and it took all that stuff out of there. Um, and it was working, so I think it's fixed. Anyway, that's the end of this one. I'll see you at the next one.